India should be very interested and involved in climate change for a number of reasons. One is it would be very sensitive to any change in climate that had occurred. Uh, India is very dependent on the monsoon and people know that changes in the monsoon from one year to another are extremely important. However, if the climate changes in the manner that could happen, then the Indian monsoon would change both in terms of its mean and its variability, and that would have huge impacts on the population here. So in terms of the impact of climate change, they should be concerned, but in terms of the opportunity as well, um, the world is as it is now, and India is developing its technologies. And as it does so, it has the opportunity be, to be leading on the technologies that will be needed in the future. And those are the technologies that can actually mitigate the, the impact on climate, in particular by not releasing the CO2, the carbon dioxide. So India has an opportunity and it has a threat. So I think it should grab the opportunity and minimise the threat. The UK Climate Change Committee has been a very important event in my life in terms of how I think I can influence things. But in terms of UK political situation, the Climate Change Bill, which was passed last November in the UK Parliament, and the Climate Change Committee has changed things because now we have an, an independent committee that is advising government on targets for CO2 emissions not just in 2050 but now and the next 15 years and the UK government has taken the advice we're given them and is putting those targets through Parliament and from the flavour I'm getting now those targets will go through Parliament and the situation we're then going to have is that the targets for the UK will be enshrined in our law so the governments of the UK can't just have as a whim, oh, we're not going to worry about that anymore. It is an imperative for all of them, unless they repeal those laws, to put in the policies that will achieve those laws. Now, the Climate Change Committee has looked at the sort of policies that might be required. The overall thing, I think, is to actually give certainty to industry that this is not just a flavour of this month or one political party in power whatever government we have this is the direction so that industry knows they can invest for the long term and look for those new opportunities invest money now and they will get the payback in 10 20 30 years time it's setting the future direction the the actual poli individual policies then the climate change committee has said well there could be this or there could be this we are not in government so we should not be policy prescriptive but we have given an idea of the sort of policies that might be needed. And when the government produces their policies, and the first round of that will be this summer, then we will be commenting on those policies in our report to Parliament. And we will be saying whether we think those policies are likely to achieve the targets that they have accepted and are enshrined in law. So in a policy manner, this is extremely important we have the overall general direction and we have a mechanism for looking at the policies in place and seeing whether they are sufficient. The UK has a very diverse set of voices and that's healthy in democracy like India. There are many voices coming forward. We, but the climate change bill went through Parliament. I think it was 454 and one against. So almost everyone agreeing that this is the direction to go. And I think this is a, a recognition that as a concern for the, for the world, this is of great importance in fact for thinking of 50 to 100 years time of overwhelming importance and that we all however large or small our contribution to that problem is at the moment are involved in that decision 
I think it's also a recognition that um, there will be some industries that will decline. Those industries will tend to decline anyway. Uh, the change from the horse to the motor car meant that some, some livelihoods were actually not as good. They had to change what they did. But in general, one could see that was the direction to go and the overwhelming voices said, we must be going in that direction. We have a new challenge, which is far more than that. It's actually looking further ahead, but it's actually action now. And somehow one has to get above the everyday babble of voices that are heard and the decisions that are made to say, yes, we hear all that diversity, but overall there is the imperative in terms of the climate and the opportunities for India determine we must go in this direction. There will be different ways of doing it, different policy choices, but those shouldn't obscure the direction we're going in. I mean, I, I think that for India and China, this is a, gives a tremendous opportunity. Um, partly, if you're starting from a lower base in terms of one's industries, and then you can go on the track that others will try to change to later on, and looking at the technology that are developed, the huge opportunities in the energy market, say, in India and China, um, are just, they're fantastic. And they're there for individual Indian companies to work on and work in terms of the global industries and linking with those global industries. This is where the markets are. This is where the developments can be. And the world desperately needs India and China to take this new course. Don't go down the direction we've gone. And the industries in the developed countries will be looking to join in with you because this is where the growing markets are. So I think there's a tremendous opportunity both for the home industries and linking with those global industries to develop and go along this new path. A venture capitalists, I, in, in somewhere like India, I hope will be able to link in, for instance, with a, a new development in Europe where there is an intention to start major new effort in innovation in three fields in um, IT, energy and climate change. And so this is not the research, it is actually the innovation getting the venture capitalists along with the latest research to try and get the new industries developed. And Europe is saying it will put 100 million euros into this per annum and it's aiming to get academics and industrialists together in this context. And I would hope that this would provide a context which would involve not just European industries, but those in India, for instance, and maybe could provide a vehicle to help the venture capitalist realize in a slightly larger domain that they have slightly less risk, although as venture capitalists, they'll always be going for the risk but maybe they can feel slightly more confident given these larger scale structures taking this forward. <laughs>